first prayer. If you are in this meeting today, there is a satanic milk flowing out of your breast. It's not supposed to be coming out, it's coming out. Find a way quickly to this altar and be on your knees. Also, if you are in this service today, Invisible insects are biting you. Just with something is biting your body. Run quickly to this altar and be on your knees too. Anywhere you are listening to us too, go to the altar of that church and be on your knees there. And let your amen roar like thunder. And let your prayer to roar like thunder. Can everybody shout this loud? Loud and clear. Powers. Submitting my name to the covenant. In the name of Jesus. Submitting my name to the covenant. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sir, Holy Ghost bulldozer. Open my way in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus. Name we pray. Those of you at the altar, point your right hand to me here. Father, let your power flow into this hand. Let this hand remove the plantation of darkness. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count seven. Smite your head seven times. And then you will be anointed, you can go back to your seat. One. Do it well. Do it well. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. You can go back to your seat now. Thank you, Jesus. Glory killers of my father's heart. You are a liar. Death. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As you pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting today, anytime you are at the edge of a breakthrough, you have some strange dreams. And the breakthrough disappears. Find a way to the altar. If you are in this service today too, 
strange you smell strange odors that others don't smell find a way to the altar too and be on your knees everybody will shout this prayer loud and clear gather to disgrace me Lord, time is up. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. They must scatter. They must scatter. Something is happening. Something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, you will shout this louder than anyone around you. Say, rough life. Rough life. Back seat. If we are can you shout out to this loud and clear? Shout it louder than that. I am not your candidate. In the name of Jesus. Rough life back seats. In Jesus, then we pray. Lord, Jesus, of you at the altar, point your right hand at me here. Father, let the Holy Ghost fire. And the power of deliverance fall upon this hands. In the name of Jesus. As a cancer will now smite your head. Be And immediately you are anointed, go back to your seat. One. I want you to be more aggressive. One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Uh, uh, you may go back to your seat now. Yes. I want you to know this morning. He has broken all the feathers. He has set me free. I will sing hallelujah. I will sing hallelujah. I will sing Hallelujah. He has set me free. He has set me free. He has broken. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has set me free. He has set me free. I will sing. I will sing. Hallelujah. I will sing. 
Go back to your seat. Don't worry. Amen. Whether you have been anointed or not, go back to your seat. Go back to your seat now. Jesus has answered your prayers. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus. One more prayer before you go. Kato ma lole adura kosi. Every power that has handed me over to the family, to the strong man, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody go back to your seat now. Go back to your seat, please. Go back to your seat, please. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for this day. And we thank you for your grace and your power. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your power which knows no equal. I'm praying for all your children gathered here. And those who are connected to us. At any deeply rooted trouble, any long term affliction, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. And right there where you are, receive your deliverance. 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 Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The Lord blesses you from Zion. I make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You go from strength to strength. You go from glory to glory. No weapon form against all your family shall prosper. By the next power must change answer. You shall be a bigger bundle of testimonies. All the stubborn enemies gathered against you. They shall be disgraced. Thank you, Heavenly Father.
I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. The eyes that never slumbers nor sleep shall continue to be with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As many as are gathered at this deep deliverance service, or you are connected to us one way or the other, you need to praise God like David praised and dance like David danced. Glorious, Do it from the bottom of your heart. And you will open the doors to your unending breakthroughs. Verily, verily, you are good. you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, 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 you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, 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 Hallelujah. I'm questioning who you are, the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm questioning who you are, the Lord.
Abi. All eyes closed. This is a deep deliverance service. It is a service of the violent taken by force. The prayers I want you to pray now. I want to pray now. They are not ordinary prayers. In fact, Koda, we could finish this prayer and share the grace and go. But it's important that you do not negotiate with the enemy. It's important that you do not joke with the prayers at all. It's important that nobody's voice becomes louder than yours. It's important that you pray it well, violently. Immediately, the process of this prayer starts. The miracle hand of God will begin to work. Some people, it will go back 20 years. 20 years. 50 years. Some will just see the body lifting away. Some may actually see the strong man pull it out of their bodies. If you pray this prayer and you lose your voice, but the process of deep deliverance happens in your life, you will have done yourself a world of favor. Why the process of this prayer is going on? There are people here connected to this program. All your life they have been pressing you down. It is those powers that are pressing you down that you want to unseat now. There are people here the enemy has fired all kinds of arrows into your body. It's as if the body does not belong to you. You will see what will happen in the next five minutes. If you will open your mouth and pray aggressively. Blind Bartimaeus screamed and cried out. Jesus, son of David, have me. His voice was loud enough to embarrass people. For, for the voice of a single man to embarrass a crowd. It, is, it must be a serious cry. It is that kind of cry that can get the breakthrough. The Bible says in the day that I cry, then shall my enemies come back. There is somebody here. Immediately you begin to cry out to God now. The enemies that pursue your grandfather, pursue your father, is now pursuing you. Shall be buried alive. If in the process of these prayers, you find that you could not remain on your feet, right down on the floor where you are. Let Continue the prayers. Now place your hand on your belly button area. With a voice that nobody beside you will overshadow. You will shout this loud and clear. Blood of Jesus! Deliver my foundation! In the name of Jesus! There must be great deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Lord, Jesus. 
Now you are Jura. Ah, ah. Then we are making progress. And that's why you we are making huge progress. It is why you love Bali. Say voices from my foundation. That are attacking my star. Can I hear the sister shouting this loud? I'm sure the sisters can do a lot better than this. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. yes. Makatenda ya boshente ra bosetenda ke yaba. Ba piari katenda ra boshente ra bosenta. Opu yaba, opu yaba, opu yaba. In Jesus name we pray. Lord God Jesus, I bad you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I am going to count seven from here. Which is a sign of perfection. Something is going to happen to three groups of people. Number one set of people. Everywhere you go, you face unexplainable hatred. The power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke shall be broken. Number two, you are at the edge of a serious breakthrough. Right but some forces have just risen up again to steal that breakthrough. As I count seven, the power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke shall be broken. And by the next power changes, you come here with your testimonies. As I count to seven, all those who are here, and you came here almost lifeless. The power of God will fall upon you. And your blood that has been taken away shall be returned. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, you have been operating for a long time. Today is the expiry date of that operation. Just shake the serpent out of your head. Shake the serpent out of your head. Aha. Ben. Yes. Ben. Amen. Amen. You that unexplainable swelling in the body. I command you to depart from your hiding place in the name of Jesus. Yes. 
In the name which is above all names. Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. Right there where you are. Receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Aha. Then. If you are in this service now, and you came here almost lifeless, you came here almost without strength to do anything. Your strength has returned now. So, wherever you are, without allowing anybody to assist you run quickly to this altar here run quickly to the altar don't let the devil put the problems back on you there are serious prayers to pray very serious prayers sisters if you pray this prayer there are many sisters here this single prayer will bring you uncommon testimonies. Brothers, pray this prayer to, to encounter your testimonies. Joy swallow us. And you didn't bear your me. Of my father's house. Is that the loudest you can shout it? Your voice is still not loud enough. Make it a louder shout. Those who are swallowing the joy of your father's house. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes. Jesus name we pray this is wonderful this is wonderful stretch your right hand towards me here father these hands that are stretched here let his hand carry the fire power of God let it carry the healing power of Jehovah when you use his hand this day every bondage shall be broken and every arrow of death and hell shall go back to the senders in the name of Jesus now anywhere you are having problem in your body smite it without mercy 21 times and shout go your senders in the name of Jesus. Go Check your body now. 
Yeah, do I know. what you could not do before. And once that problem has gone wrong quickly to the altar here. Don't let the enemy put this problem back. Say this after me. We buy tell him. Anything in the land of the dead. Troubling my life. This prayer is for somebody here. Because your breakthrough has to happen today, 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 today. Anything in the land of the dead. Troubling my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That's right. Check that body. Oh yeah, yeah, I Yes. And run quickly to the altar. Don't let the devil put it back. The arrow fired into your head that makes it look as if it's going to burst. The power of God is coming upon you. That person over there, they say you have cancer. Fire is coming upon your body. And that disease is drying up. I saw nothing. Check your body, check your body. Yeah, God, I and run know. quickly to this altar here. This particular prayer is a serious one indeed. Lay your right hand on your head. Then later you lay your hand on your chest. As we pray this prayer. Let's start with the head. Foundational injury. in my life can you shout it loud is that the loudest you can shout it receive healing in the name of Jesus Yes, foundational injury. Obey, Quile. Receive healing now. Obey, will survive. Thank you, Jesus. We shall just Jesus name we pray Lord say any dark power living in my house or around my house can I hear you saying that loud and clear That voice is not loud enough. Oh, you're not okay, too. Uh huh. Get out now! In the name of Jesus. Any dark power. Living in my house or around my house. Command them to get out. Masikatenda yabo shantariba. In 
Jesus name we pray loruko jesu lagbadura silence ida kero lowa father baba i'm praying mon gbadura for anyone under the sound of my voice who has been dedicated to any idol and this idol from the waters from the forest on the mountains the idol that has been controlling this destiny upon anyone like that here let the chain of the idol power be broken now be broken 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 in the name of Jesus planted in your father's house with your name that has been troubling your life let the chain of that satanic tree upon your destiny be broken now in the name of Jesus oh yes Aha, Ben. Aha, Ben. Ben. Anyone in this garden? Any can it on Ben? Any question for you? Who has stepped on any magic item or any sorcery item or any enchantment item? Tote ogo, inko alupa ida inko afoshe moleri. And the thing is affecting their legs. Let the fire of the God of Elijah burn to ashes every plantation of that. In the name of Jesus. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Father, I'm praying for all those here under the sound of my voice who have been dedicated to the waters and the power controlling their destiny is inside the waters. Father, as I count seven from here, let your liquid fire fall upon such people and let the yoke of the waters be broken to pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Aha. Then. Before we go on, that you, you now need to pray this prayer. Oh, I got right. The prayer that delivered that woman from the bondage. I do that. Oh, God, I've been a call. Who need it? Pass! Hey, you got a assigned to use me as a sacrifice. Do you want to let the you are Jesus. 
Give with that power now. Go go to Agbala, not by you. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. Like a servant for the man. I'm in a jail. Amen. I'm in a jail. Let's sit down for a few minutes and take our Bible. I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to the Last week and last month, we began to look at deep deliverance. That could be surface deliverance, could be partial deliverance, but it's also deep deliverance. We need to address it today. We need to address it. The coming power must change hands. Glory be to the name of Jesus. And in this coming power must change hands. You must prepare yourself for an encounter with the Lord. Certain deep things must be achieved. I want to So listen very, very carefully now. Before we now start this specific prayers, there are 40 reasons why the enemy could rage against you. Forty reasons. The enemy rages against you. A lot of us are going through that now. The enemy is raging against us. But I prophesy upon the life of somebody over there. Not all those glory killers that have made it a full time assignment to trouble your life. As you shout a sevenfold amen now, their tenor shall expire in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 2, Psalm 2, from verse 1, Psalm 2, verse 1, why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and drew last take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. Saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their curse from us. But the Bible says, He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. You're ready. That is somebody here, the Lord shall laugh your enemies to scorn in the name of Jesus. Psalm number seven. Psalm seven. Look at what it says in verse six. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies. And I work for me to the judgment thou hast commanded. The enemy, listen carefully, has rearranged many people. 
from the front to the back many many have been diverted from their original divine intention many are actually waging war against their own destiny they're not aware many are throwing stones at their own destinies and they are hiding their hands and they are the ones throwing the stones many are digging their own graves and hiding the spade many are, are princes but the servants have taken over their horses and the servants are riding them. Many are fishing and catching nothing in the ocean of life. Many good seeds that have been planted into many lives. Unfortunately, have been eaten up by evil birds. Many don't even know the real life they're supposed to live. If some know their real life, they will pray harder than they are praying. Many have been converted to hewers of wood and drawers of water by the enemy. And many are singing the Lord's song in a strange land. Unto many, their correct life has been killed even from the womb. Many are a shadow of what God wants them to be. Many have internal suppressors, suppressing and killing good things inside. Many who claim to be Christians, they are claiming authority, but they are taking no ground. More than at any other time in the history of mankind, there are many more mad people on our streets now. Many only encounter their real life in the dream. Many have accepted satanic substitute for their destiny. Many are laboring under the curse of powerless living. It is sad, but it is true that the devil has closed down the workshop of so many people. This is a situation that must not be allowed to continue. It is totally unacceptable. This is why the Bible says as from the days of John the Baptist now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence took it by force immediately you stand up and you decree you declare you decide I want to fulfill my destiny I want to live my correct life there is a rage from the bottom of hellfire against your life the enemy will rage they want to keep you where they are keeping you and this is a very serious matter sometimes after ministers of God have prayed for some people the enemies that are after those people come back to the man of God so excuse me what is your problem leave this person alone let us destroy them I'm praying for somebody here every rage of the enemy against your life shall be fire in the name of Jesus a fold amen Under what condition?
condition does the enemy rage against you? Number one, the enemy rages against you when your destiny is colorful. Nobody throws stones at mango trees without fruit. The reason you are going through what you are going through now may be because you have a colorful destiny and the enemy is bent on not making you to attain it. Two. The enemy rages when they see you as a danger to their activities. They find that if you the way you are going, if you continue going like that, you will be extremely dangerous to their kingdom. Three. The enemy rages when your life is about to make a positive history. Four. The enemy rages when everyone is planning your celebration. Five. The enemy rages when you are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough. I see so many people here. They are at the edge of serious breakthrough I command you in the name of Jesus enter into that breakthrough enter 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 in the name of Jesus six the enemy rages when the time to sing your song and dance your dance is around the corner seven the enemy rages when your testimony is about to explode eight the enemy rages when he found that you are about to break his final yoke that final yoke is about to be broken they will now become desperate and increase their rage against you if you give up at that time you made a tragic error now the enemy rages when their defeat is around the corner so that the way this person is going is about to defeat them. Ten. The enemy rages when your victory becomes non negotiable. Eleven. The enemy rages when they are afraid of your speed. The way you are going is scaring them. Twelve. The enemy rages when your promotion is already announced in heaven. Thirteen. The enemy rages when your case has been fast tracked in heaven. Fourteen. The enemy rages when you are definitely now positioned to make your mark in life. You are now correctly positioned. When you are not correctly positioned, they leave you alone. But you mean that you are correctly positioned. You are now praying the correct prayers. The rage will start. Fifteen. The enemy rages when you have just won a major victory. Sixteen. The enemy rages. When there is a prophetic agenda for your life. The word of prophecy has gone forth for your destiny. And so they are so angry they are raging against you. 17. 
enemy regions when you have been promoted above them the enemy regions when you are determined to forget your expired past you want to look forward to the future in you start 19 the enemy regions when you refuse to take no for an answer you are putting pressure on heaven to answer your prayers 20 the enemy rages when your adverse is ripe I see someone here. The harvest of your breakthrough is ripe in the name of Jesus. Let your amen rule like thunder. 21. The enemy rages. When you are about to cross your Red Sea, every man will get to their whole Red Sea. And they need to cross it. 22. The enemy rages. When the power that prolongs your problem is about to die, I'm going to pray one prayer now. If you know that any problem has stayed long with you, let your amen be the loudest here. By the power of the of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Every long term problem in any life. I address you. Hear the word of the Lord. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. 23. The enemy rages. When you declare to them, enough is enough. 24. The enemy rages. When you are set to overtake your superiors. 25. The enemy rages. When you decide to be stubborn to obstacles. 26. The enemy rages when you, you are determined to turn your scar into star. 27. The enemy rages when you are determined to go from zero to hero. 28. The enemy rages when your turning point is near. 29. The enemy rages. When the enemy sees that your blessings are irreversible. And 30. Which is where I'm going to stop for now. The enemy rages. When you need deep deliverance and you do not process it. Because they do not want you to get out of that bondage. Some things will begin to happen right now. All you need to do is to just listen to instructions and pray those prayers and follow the procedure outlined for you. And then believe God from your heart. But for you to go through this situation and receive deliverance from deeply rooted problems, you need to surrender your life to Jesus first. It's after that you can begin to address such trouble. Rise up. Rise to your feet. Now. Rise to your feet. All eyes closed. Rise to your feet. If you are here today, say, Pastor, 
Today is my day of deliverance. I need to surrender my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed. Raise up your right hand. Raise it up very well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you raising up your right hand, come quickly to the altar here. Or any of the two altars at the back. Jesus is waiting for you here. You need to surrender your life to Jesus before you can receive this deep deliverance. Do it very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just see what I'm going to say after me. Say, so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Lay your hands upon them. Bless them mightily. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The counselors will discuss with you. I'm telling you the next step forward. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads and tell the Lord that you must not go home empty handed here today. Begin to talk to the Lord now. Could you please rise to your feet, please? Why we pray with you. Father, we thank you for your children here. We are celebrating their birthday this month. Let your hand be upon them for good in the name of Jesus. Mobilize heaven so that I help everywhere they go in the name of Jesus. By this time next year, Jesus starts in his coming. You be a bigger bundle of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your prayer letter, stand on your feet and point it towards this altar now. Let your amen roar like thunder as, as the altar is Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray now. Hold the letter pointed to the altar. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every prayer listed in this paper. Let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will answer all your prayers. And you shall rejoice. You shall rejoice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your anointing oil now. And put a little bit on your palm. A little bit on your palm. Father, this oil that your children are using today. Let it become the oil of healing and deliverance. The oil that would dig deep and uproot every foundational evil plantations in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of healing, deliverance, and power. In the name of Jesus. Now apply the oil on your forehead. Rub that forehead vigorously. Vigorously. Aha. 
Do it vigorously. She dada. Don't stop, don't stop. My tea drew. Keep rubbing it in. Mavira. Something is going on. Evil labors are being removed. The mark of the enemy is being removed. Continue doing it. Continue doing it. Aha. Ben. Aha. Ben. Put a small oil on your palm again. Your palm again. Father, this oil. Baba Let it become the instrument of great breakthrough. Instrument of great power. In the name of Jesus. Now rub your two hands with the oil. It's to release prosperity onto your life. Rub those two hands. Rub it together with the oil. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen.